at Matt Denton that did BBA. They did the design and build. How did they get the fire? Like, how is, like, is that propane? Or the flame? The thumbs up? No, the comment. Thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to the club. Yeah, the club on the inside. Who has a non-disclosure? Yeah, yeah, sadly, I can't, I can't see that one. Right. It may be revealed on the DVD, though. I believe there's a BBA special that's part of the DVD, which is how it's made and certain aspects were shown. Yeah, Lee, Lee gets nothing for selling DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were in celebration, well, the last celebration in LA, and uh, we were all watching in anticipation when Lee and Oliver were coming out on stage, and they had the whole cast out there. And I think most of us thought that CGI, uh, BBA was going to be CGI mostly. And we're all watching it on the big screen in the archer room, and uh, we're all sitting there. Next thing you know, BBA comes rolling out on the stage, and you can hear a pin drop. And the archer builders club going, "Damn, it's real!" <laughs> <laughs> we thought it was CGI. And now we have to build it. And now, then, then of course the brain started going, "What's it doing? Is it magnetic? What kind of servers are in it? What kind of this is going?" And we're not actually enjoying it. We're trying to figure out how to build it. <laughs> and, uh, and, yeah, for the most part, I thought all that was CGI, but nope, it's a real deal. That is an actual droid that comes rolling out on stage. It freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> see if we can sneak in another question or two. Um, yep, over there. Mm -hmm. How many new droids are there in episode 8? I can't say anything about episode 8. I'm sorry, it apart from that I am working on it, I can't tell you how many new droids. And the other thing is, well, is you know, if it's if it, it you know if I give you a figure, it doesn't mean they're going to make the cut right. anyway. So they could end up on the cutting floor, which I guess did happen. For episode so, seven, um, you guys did have to come up with you know, like the R zero droid was brand new to the saga. That's right. Yeah, yeah. We we were asked. JJ gave us the you know the free reign to do this new design head. Um, so we did the new head, and thankfully he liked it. So we ended up doing two actually. So we did the Rollo. And, and then we did a, there's a black and orange one that's in the back of Poe's X-Wing um, before BB-8 joins him. Um, and that's an R-Zero dome as well. And that's R-Zero H2. And we, Oliver and I named it H2 because both our partners are called Helen. So we just did H2. And uh, <laughs> thankfully again that stuck, so that, that's cool. We probably have time for just one more question before we have to wrap up. So anybody else? Okay, yeah. How about the global, uh, Attraction parks, you guys involved in making Disneyland. Uh, mm. Why does everybody look at me? <laughs> Somebody keeps building droids, but I don't I, know. I, I may or may not be under the same non disclosures that Lee would be under, so I, I would assume that there would be droids at Disneyland everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars is Star Wars without two. Without you two can just assume. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder who's making them. <laughs> so we, we have a great relationship with Lucasfilm Disney. They know who we are. Where they 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 come to us for various needs, and uh, we're happy to work with them as a thrill. <laughs> so I think we are just about out of time. If you have so, any more questions, please come down. Yeah, come down to our booth. Good. The booth away. is at the end of the 21. 21 Come visit and, and touch the black one with your sticky little fingers. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll give you a call.